Jon Snow's right about Mantrader. We're going to need all the weapons we can make. Don't forget the practice shorts. Uncle Duncan! Garrett! It's good to see you. They told me you were at the Weirwood Tree. Wasn't sure you'd be back in time. What brings you here? A business with the Night's Watch. A delivery of Ironwood shields, to keep you all out of harm's way. That settles it then? Aye, the delivery looks in order. Oh, the gods do grant miracles. You look well, nephew. I'm told you're a ranger now. That's good. Uncle? Things aren't going well at Ironrath, Garrett. I know. I heard the news about Ethan. I wasn't there when it happened. Small mercy, I suppose. Not having to see our lord struck down with such barbarity. But House Forrester is nothing, if not resilient. Our house has survived for centuries. I should have been there protecting Ethan. What good am I at the wall? That's why I'm really here. Do you recall Lord Forrester's last words to you? Just before he died, Gregor's final command, spoken to you in confidence. He said the North Grove must never be lost. Indeed. But first, it must be found. I've been reading his journals. Scouring the legends for any clue what Lord Forrester knew. I think I found the answer. He describes a fortification, a protected citadel of sorts, hidden from the world. One filled with great power. It was scattered among his notes. Almost an obsession. A vital secret he protected at all costs. Do you think this citadel can help us save House Forrester? Lord Forrester certainly believed so. He speaks of it as if he'd seen it himself. Somewhere north of the wall. And you must find it, Garrett. The search won't be easy. But you're a tuttle. Our lord knew you wouldn't fail him. Somewhere north of the wall. That's not a lot to go on, uncle. How am I supposed to find it? The first chance you get to head north, take it. And then? You leave the Night's Watch behind, and strike out on your own. This is no small request I make. I know that. Isn't there some other way? Where I don't have to break my vows? If there was, I wouldn't ask this of you. This will help guide you. I found it hidden in Lord Forrester's strongbox. What is that? A page from our Lord's journal. But one he tore out and kept separate. Why, I don't know. It's a map. To the North Grove. Aye. This looks familiar. What is it, Garrett? Talia gave me this. Before I left. Oh. Wait. Lord Forrester gave Ethan a similar one as well. Rodra too. I wonder. I used to be frightened of where with trees. But before I was a man grown, I swear, I actually could hear him whispering sometimes. He said it was a citadel of some kind. Could this be it? No. No, it couldn't be that easy. It's hidden here somewhere. A mammoth? <laughs> This map's only missing grumpkins and snarks. This can't be real, Uncle. Bloody ice dragon. Gods be good. Now that I would love to see. Hear the werewoods whisper. Look. There's a clasp. It must open. No idea this was inside. Another werewood. But why? Maybe it's a key to solving the map. A 
perfect fit. Maybe it's telling us where to look on the map. Doesn't look right. Maybe try another. No, no, that doesn't seem to work. map that has to turn. Aye. The werewood's mouth, uncle. Whatever this place is, the North Grove must be near. There's only one way to find out. Here, take this map. Everything we hold dear may well depend on your success. It's a lot to put on your shoulders. Uncle, I can't break my vows. I can't do it. I understand your reluctance, and I know what I'm asking of you is difficult, but I know you're strong. Gods watch over you. You're the son I never had. Let's go, Garrett! I don't know. They're probably like little, little shards or something. Wait, so, like a weapon? Well, your piss is like any other liquid, I reckon. Well, that was rather mysterious. A stranger arrives and you're chatting him up. Someone said it was your uncle looking for you. But what did he want? Looked like you two had a lot to talk about. Must have been important to come to Castle Black. He's Castellan to House Forester. They sell ironwood to the builders. So, you were just talking about lumber all that time? It looked like he gave you something. It was nothing. Let's go and celebrate. Already keeping secrets from your brothers, eh? Ah, uh, Garrett's right. The wall's gonna melt before we get up there. Come on. There are so many guests already arriving. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. You know, we're as lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at High Garden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. Where we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. And everyone will be able to see us. I'm sure it will be a wedding for the ages, Sarah. I've been meaning to say what I told you about my family. It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. Sarah, you should be careful who you trust around here. Secrets can be dangerous in the wrong hands. I'll certainly be more careful in the future. Hold on, look. There he is. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to go talk to him. Marjorie won't notice it for a few minutes longer. Could you make an excuse for me? Please. Go on then. It'll be fine. 
The wedding's still days away. Thank you, Mira. I knew I could count on you. What are you doing here? Oh, no, I shouldn't be here. But we have to talk. I didn't know when I would see you next. Look, that night, I don't know what might have happened if you hadn't helped me. Well, I could say the same to you, Lady Mira. But I came here to warn you. I was down in Flea Bottom last night when I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about... Shh! They already know he's missing. Probably dead. They're questioning people. Searching for his body. Please tell me you took care of it. Of course. I told you I would. No one will know what you did. What? What is it? If we're gonna survive this... What if they find his knife? I threw it away, and there was blood on it. Oh, oh no. You do not want to get caught looking for it. Just don't get in any more trouble. And I'll... I'll watch your back. We're in this together now. You saved my life. I don't even know your name. It's... It's Tom. Thank you, Tom. Don't thank me yet, Lady Mira. There's still a knife out there covered with a dead man's blood. And I don't... Mira! My lady. Really? A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy? Not to say it's wrong, but with all the lords and knights in King's Landing... Truly, it's nothing, Sarah. He's a friend. Really? Is that so? Come on. Marjorie expects us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. You can tell me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Well, if you really want to know. First of all, his name's Garibald, and he has this really funny accent. He told me the cleverest story about this festival they have where they celebrate. And I've given the musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. I assume you have no problems with the reigns of Castamere? I trust you've chosen all the standards, but just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace, my lady. Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his King's Guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> but we- What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I, uh... If you're going your to Grace, speak out of turn, girl- I... You should finish what you start. We do as you command, Your Grace, and we'll spend the feast wherever it pleases you. You'll spend it mopping the stables, if I please. I asked your handmaiden here at the Iron Throne, whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the King. She was deferential to the crown then, as she is now. But words are wind. In any case, it's settled. The King's Guard will stay with Joffrey, your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. Of course, Your Grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. What did she mean by that? You and Tyrion? What you do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to know about it. I... I haven't done anything wrong, my lady. That's not how it seemed. Queen Cersei made it seem like much more than that. Sarah, what do you know of this? Mira would never go against your wishes, my lady. What am I to think, Mira? I've only ever tried to help you. 
Why are you making trouble for me? My family needs me. We're losing everything. I have to do whatever I can to help them. I'm not blind to your pain, Mira. But your problems are not the only ones in the world. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. I promise I won't speak to him again. Please don't send me home. This can't happen again. White Hills. They're assembling in the courtyard. They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. I'll need my sentinel. Go ahead, Talia, and have Royland meet me in the courtyard. What is this? It's a parade of dead men if I have my way. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? I demand to know. <laughs> Those are strong words. For a cripple who can't carry a sword? All of you, show your respect to Griff Whitehill, fourth-born son of Lord Lud Whitehill and commander of this garrison. Cocky Roderick, we used to call you. Swinging your prick round, lording it over my family. Now look at you, eh? Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognize you, but the name fits, don't it? <laughs> Pathetic. I've had enough of this, Griff. What are you trying to prove here? I had to get your attention, didn't I? Always so busy beating your own chest, Roderick. I don't think he gets it. No, my lord. I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now! And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. So my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from now on. What? You can't. You'll have to go through me. I won't have my men sleeping out in your barn. I don't care if you're happy or not. You'll quarter where I tell you. I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. And what's more, you will treat my men right. I've heard what you've done. And if they're eating wormy bread, then your people better be eating shit off the ground. I'm not here to keep them in line. Your men aren't fucking guests. We'll get what I give them and be thankful for it. Watch yourself, Roderick. This is against the King's law. You've no right to make such demands. I have every right. We're here under the orders of Roos Bolton, Warden of the North. So I will be in your halls. I will be in your courtyard. I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody well please. You can't do this, little bastard. You can't just do whatever- We'll do what we were sent here to do. You're mad, Griff. This is my house and you will do as I say. Why should I listen to some cripple with half a face? Now! 
Me and my men will take our place in your hall. Unless you think you and your army can stop me. No. You know better than that. You know where we'll be. This is outrageous. You can't go in there. We can and we will. Unless you want this all to end right now. Eh? I'm the only lord here. Come on. Griff Whitehill. That snot nosed fourth born. Parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Soiling our house. I know you tried to stop them, my lord. But we can only take this occupation for so long. Our people will break. And the way Griff Whitehill came in. We can't go to war within our own walls. Whatever we do, we have to be careful. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles, or the end of them. We need to look at all the pieces. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms and cut down our trees. All the way from here to High Point. How do we kill a snake then? By smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan. He carved these soldiers himself. Ramsay Snow killed Ethan. What's to stop the White Hills from doing the same to Ryan at High Point? You can't forsake his safety. But we have to do something. My lord, at least give us a target to aim for. Get Ryan out, and bring him home. Once he's safe, we can face the White Hills head on. And what of Griff and his men? But we can only take this occupation for so long. If you think I'm giving up on Ironrath, you're wrong. By keeping this family together, Ironrath will stand. Roderick is right. We are nothing if we leave Ryan behind. Then... It's decided. We're bringing Ryan back. We still don't have the men to hold our own home, let alone Storm High Point. We lost most of our men with Gregor at the Twins. Thankfully, Roderick secured an alliance with the Glenmores. But those forces mean nothing until after the marriage. That means we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asher means to sail home from Essos with a company of hardened sellswords. But they're not bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. You don't imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asha and Mira are a long way from here. I have faith in my children. If we have to go to battle before we're ready, we risk losing everything. But sometimes we have no choice. That time may indeed come. But it's not now. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing. So I have much to prepare. And men to train. My lord? My lord, there may be something we can do now. A voice from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. Lord Whitehill's daughter? 
The very same. After the hells that came from her and Nasha. Despite all that, she's willing to meet with you. I may not be your sentinel, but please consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. Do you think she can be trusted? It's possible she has other motives, but it's a chance to learn more about our enemies. We need to take it, and I'll make sure no one else knows. For now, at least. Good. Handle things right with Gwyn, and she may even help us in High Point, when the time comes. <laughs>